Hello and welcome to iRadar Gun Help video. Let's get started. We'll click on the iRadar Gun icon. Now this brings up the main radar view screen. There are two icons in the top right corner. The first one is settings. The second one is help. The help button will take you to this video. The settings button we'll click on now. On the settings page, we can select various distances. Baseball, softball, little league, or we can drag the slider to set a custom distance between 1 and 100 feet. And last, let's pick between miles per hour and kilometers an hour. Actually, let's stick with miles per hour. And let's make sure that this is baseball 60 feet 6 inches. We'll go back to the main screen and we're ready to go. Now once you set your settings they will persist throughout different sessions. So let's uh, take a look at this button. It says touch and hold this button to begin. So we press the button and now we are set. It says release the button when the pitcher releases the ball. So we can think of this as when the pitcher releases the ball, we release the button. Release and release. And now it says press the button when the, pitch, pitch, when the catcher catches the pitch. So when the ball touches the catcher's mitt, we touch the button again. And there it is. A pitch thrown that slowly would have only gone four miles an hour. But let's try with, with something more realistic. So I press down the ready button. And now the pitcher releases the ball and catch 44 miles an hour. Let's try it once more. Release and catch uh, 87, quite a bit faster. And that's about all there is to know about iRadar gun. Uh, practice a little bit and you should get good enough where you can get your radar times to be within I'd say a mile an hour or two. We can consistently get within about two miles an hour every single time. So uh, I hope this proves to be a useful tool and uh, be sure to leave me some feedback. Thanks a lot and enjoy iRadar Gun.